Today we're going to go ahead and just review all the steps that we've done so far just in case you are somewhere different. So everyone will start with one tracer and trace 12 of these shapes on their paper. It's best to go right next to each other so that they can all fit close to each other like that. Once you have that, you can go ahead and cut out all the shapes. We're going to use three of them as primary colors and these are going to be the tallest in our color wheel. So you're going to start by drawing something. It can be anything you want. Um, it can be like kind of generic little robot guys or you can you can do honestly anything that you want. Um, so, but the main thing is that they need to fill up most of the space on these. So here's my primary colors. See how they come to the top. So you're gonna start out either with Sharpie or go in pencil and then Sharpie it on those three. Then you're gonna take your next three and these are gonna be the secondary colors, which are these three colors, um, orange, green, and violet, and these are going to be the second highest. So you're not going to draw something that comes all the way up to the top. You want it to be a little bit lower on the color wheel. And then for the third one are our tertiary colors, and you have twice as many tertiary colors, so you're actually going to have six tertiary colors. I think this is where some of the confusion happen because I've already cut mine out but you really um, like say I'm just gonna do this little guy and he's gonna be about this height well if you wanted to um, you can give him you could give him a longer hair or something that's why we're leaving this upper thing and when you paint it's nice to have it have something to hold on to I found out the hard way on that one so um, after you get everything penciled in and sharpie over it take your eraser and erase any pencil marks and then it's time to start painting so once you get to this point you should have drawn everything sharpied it in and erased you'll have at this point you'll have six small three medium and three tall and the first six are the easiest because you your whole table will have a color wheel that is already in order and you're just going to take your brush and you are going to paint the three primary colors on the tallest guys so the primary colors are hopefully you know red yellow and blue so those are the three tallest ones red yellow and blue you can just paint those lightly over if you use it a little more like watercolor um, then you can still see the Sharpie through and then next time when it dries if you have something that didn't quite turn out how you wanted you can go over it with Sharpie again if you want to okay so the first three red yellow and blue tall the second three the medium guys orange green and purple they're also in the color wheel and these are the secondary colors so that's easy then we'll let those dry. Now for the tricky part, which are the tertiary colors. The tertiary colors you have to mix, and if you want to share with your partner, you guys can each mix half, or if you'd like to do it all yourself, you can, and you can each you can mix some of each in, in your palette. So I'm gonna mix blue-violet for this one, so I will put some violet in here, wash my brush, dry it on the sponge, get some blue, you want about the same amount, and then I have blue violet. Maybe I got a little too much blue on that, I could add a little more violet if I want, and then I'm going to paint him, yeah, I think I'm definitely, okay, so Now on this, it doesn't matter if it's perfectly painted because you're going to be cutting it out later. And I'm actually forgetting one major thing, which is my placemat. So if you have your placemat, it's not going to matter that you're getting it on the table because it'll be a lot easier to clean up that way. OK, 
Okay, so when you have this extra room on your tertiary paper, you can just hold it by this and set it aside on your placemat to dry. When you're done with your palette and it's time to wash it out, you're gonna bring it back to the sink, put it in the bottom of the sink, turn on just a little bit of water, and wash it out with a sponge while it's down at the bottom. You don't wanna hold it up because it starts to spray and it can even spray from the bottom if you have the water turned on too high. Once you're done cleaning out your palette, it will go over here in this dry rack. The water trays, if your whole table is done, then your water tray can get dumped out. See how there's still paint in there? Rinse it out, put it up on the counter. And then for washing your brush, you put a little soap in and um, we just got new brushes. I'm using one of the old ones, but you're gonna be careful with it. You don't wanna hold it straight up and down. You're gonna wash it on its side and this is gonna help our brushes last longer. Uh, mine's already kind of clean, but um, your soap will probably turn the color of your paint 